prophecy, let all of you shout a bigger amen with a thunder. Let me tell you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The Lord has designed this morning for a particular person. But there is an assignment somebody must do for you to get it working in your life. And that particular assignment you need to do is for you to believe. Somebody say believe. So when you believe, I am certain sure that August will produce a good result for you. So say I believe. I didn't hear you say I believe. May the name of the Lord bless you to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Reduce the keyboard. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Aha. Uh -huh. I see an andomo here. Mandino me futu loya. Mandino me futu loya.
from the throne of grace and I say every premature death over the life of any soul hearing the sound of my voice is hereby returned back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy now I hear something in the spirit realm. I prophesy now and the Bible said as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you, Joshua. The Lord who has protected the people of the old and served him in truth shall protect you and your family. Every sign of death upon you is protected in the name of Jesus. Any kind of sign of death in your family is I reposition you. That every failure concerning you is hereby terminated. Amen. You are not hearing me. The voice of God spoke to me now. That premature death has just been taken away from the life of somebody here. If you are a believer, shout. Amen. 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 Hi. Hi. Jesus would him. okay, come Ni me so bunko wa Hona para gyo so Terembe ya habalika Kepi no bonch 
Luciano. Hey. Aravusha. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hit your chest and say, I believe the Lord has blessed my soul. Say it loud and believe it. Say, I believe the Lord has blessed my soul. Put your hands together for this God. Celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. Amen. I want you to have a seat. Thank you. I know the Lord is about to overflow miracles in somebody's life. I am a partaker. I don't know about you. If you can say amen and believe it, the Lord shall grant it unto you. This morning, I want to preach on a topic I titled The Season of Believing. 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 The season of believing. In every life, there are seasons for everything. Time you sow, time you born, die, and all that's different seasons. In Africa, we understand there is a season of rainy season and dry season. Today, the Lord says, I should tell you the season of believing. And we are in a month of season of believing. So, what I want from you is just to believe, and the Lord shall do something marvelous in thy life and in your family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, month of August is the month of number eight. Is that correct? Now, I want you to have a flashback of your life. A, a very, a very much flashback of your life. If you look at January, February, March, April, May, June, July, is gone. And some of you has done and tried a little you can. And now you have gone through the month of July, which is the month of perfection. Still, there is nothing much for you to account for. If I could remember, I spoke in this branch when I returned from the U.S. and I said something that the year has begun to run away. Then if you don't have anything tangible or establishment or any focus or any plan, you will be shocked that very soon you will say you're drawing close to Christmas and another year has added in your life and there is nothing to show. But let me prophesy to you, there is hope. Say somebody, there is hope. Tell someone there is hope. Now, July is the month of seven, which is the month of perfection. Now, when you walk into the month of August, which is number of eight, it is a month of new what? Beginning. Somebody say new beginning. Now, if all your expectations didn't come to pass, or partly some of them came to pass, and some has not come to pass, I want you to have faith that a new beginning is about to begin today. And listen to me, as a new beginning is about to begin, there is hope because when you count August, September, October, November, December, then you will see that the new beginning is set up to operate in the realm of grace. Because grace has number of what? And you have five months remaining for the year to end. That means when grace is upon the new beginning, you will receive a speed and there will be a testimony in your life. Is that correct? So this morning, what I am here to do is for me to prophesy. But there is one hope for that miracle to come to pass. You must do what? Believe. Somebody say believe. Let me tell you something. One of the major keys that bring miracles to life of people is believing. A lot of people, because of disappointment and things they've seen in so many churches, when they go to churches now, instead of them to believe with their faith, with their hope, with their heart, they will believe with one eye closed and the other one eye open. And at that time, the spirit of doubt has come into your heart. I listened to Papa Yedi for the other day. He said, when you do not roll away a stone in your heart for you to believe that you cannot get your desired miracle. Amen. Take me to Second Chronicles 20, 20. Now, believing is a key for a child of God to accept whatever you are expecting God to do for you. Then those miracles will come to pass. Take me to Second Chronicles 20, 20. Let me hear you. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. Yes. I think that's a prayer of uh, Joseph or something. Let, let me hear. And they rose early in the morning. They rose early in the morning. And went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Uh -huh. And as they went forth, yes. Jehoshaphat Joseph stood Fart, and said, He stood and said something. Hear me, O Judah. Now listen, he said, Hear me, O Judah, inheritance of Jerusalem. Yes, go ahead. And ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. You inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Understand this principle. He said, Believe. Underline that word. Believe in the Lord, the Lord your, your God. God. Understand it. Now, he said, 
you should believe in that. That means for God to do something, there will be an act of what? Belief. Hello? Now, if there is a loss from you to believe, that means there might not be a reality or proof of that thing coming to pass. So, it takes a man to believe to define what we call the word acceptance. When you believe, you've accepted and something you do not accept, you cannot receive. I don't know if I'm talking here. Continue, let me hear you. So shall ye be established. Now, he said when you believe that in God, you shall be established. That means, if you accept the process and the processes of God, you shall be established. Then he now told them something again. Believe is prophet. Now, he said again, and align the word believe. He said, believe in his prophet. Then thou shalt do what? So shall ye prosper. Then thou shalt do what? Prosper. Now understand these two key words. He said to them, all ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, for you to uh, be established, first of all, believe what? Then, for you to prosper. He equally repeated the same word. He said, believe in his what? Prophets. Amen? Now, what he means is that for something good to happen in this new beginning, you must have an acceptance in your heart for you to believe. I was ministering somewhere. And you know, the sickness, is, uh, the sickness has lasted for long. And when I wanted to pray, I knew that kind of person has run, uh, run you know, around churches so many. So I was, I was praying. I said, God, I am standing on the gap for this person. Whether he believes or not, that I'm standing and I believe. Because I know at that time, you know, person, we don't go pray and go pray and nothing happens. So when he finally comes to a genuine person, he will still have that spirit of doubting. And that thing is the means the devil will use to separate you from the reality. And that's why you need to believe in this month of August that is a month of new beginning in your life, that is a month of new beginning in your business, that is a month of new beginning in your family. There is a month of new beginning in your finance. There is a, a month of new beginning in your marriage. Then when you believe, then it shall come. So, and believe is a reality of faith. The problem we have is that a lot of us do not, see, when you do not believe, be, not believing is a lack of faith, accepting that God can do something glorious. Because when you do not believe, that means you are doubting. Is that not correct? And then when you doubt the reality and the power of God, that means you might not see the physical manifestation of the testimonies. And that is why when a man wants to get where he's going, Joseph said to them, Oh, ye inheritance, inhabitant of Jerusalem. He said, believe. I beg you to believe. So that when you believe, God will then establish you. He said, that believe on his prophet that you shall hear from. Then thou shalt do what? prosper. Can I tell you something? You need a result. You're not hearing me. I said you need a result. It is only result that can counsel an insult in your life. So when there is no result, there is an insult. But when there is result, insult is taken away. And it is only when insults have been counseled that men around you will know that God has done something in your life. Can I prophesy to a believer here? God is about to bring a result and insult is about to be taken away. I didn't hear you. I said God is about to bring a result and insult is about to be taken away. If you're a believer, rise up on your feet and shout Amen and I believe. I believe. I believe. And let me tell you, believing is an acceptance. And acceptance is an obedience. And when you accept and believe thy prophet, then you prosper. And there are blessings attached to those who believe, who has accepted, and who has obeyed. Take me to Deuteronomy. I'm trying to be very fast this morning. Take me to Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 8. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 8. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of now, the Lord thy God. Very simple. That 
it shall do what? Hearken. Come to pass. If thou could hear, if thou can believe, if thou believest, oh, that's King James language. If thou believest and hearken to the voice of the Lord, what shall happen to you? To observe and to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the, the earth. The Lord said in the month of August that God, he God, will set you high above all nations. nations. Amen. You are not a believer to this prophecy. Remember, it is only, it, is, it, it, it will only bring manifestation to you only when you do what? Believe. When you believe. And when a believer wants to show the sign that he believes, he will shout amen with confidence. There is one of our daughters here, one of our workers in this branch that is now in the U.S. All of you know her now. It was in charge of drama, Sister Juliet. Anytime I want to talk with her, sometimes I might even be joking. She will only say, ha, daddy, as long as it has proceeded out of your mouth, it is. He said, I won't, there is nothing else I will believe apart from this one you said. She said it when she came here. She graduated and she don't have a job for years. She came here. I said, okay, don't worry. God has given you a job. He said, he doesn't need prayer. He said, daddy, I've said it. He said, daddy, the way I believe in you, I believe what you just said. She got home and she got a job. Is that correct? Yes. A very big job. The other day she came to me, daddy, I need a car. I said, receive it. He said, hey, Nebi said, she started dancing. She left. I was saying this girl, a mad girl. Within two weeks, she got a car. No, so. She needed a house. She was attaching with his brother here. The second building from here. Or third building, thereabout. She said she needed a house. I said, don't worry. I said, faith. He said, that he finished. I finished. I said, God has granted. He said, I believe. Within two weeks, she got two bedroom flat. She came back here. She said, that I want to travel abroad. She said, as the Lord, has, as you have spoken, the Lord shall grant it unto you. She said, I believe. Within two weeks, she got a Dubai visa. When she came here, I said, that Dubai visa I saw, there is no light on it. She carried the passport and threw away. She said she's not traveling. You know, crazy believers. How many people can throw away? She came back again. She said, she, they, there's an opening. They want to give a visa in London. As I was saying, I didn't see light in that London. She threw away it. She came back. She said she wants to go to America. I said, wait, let me pray. When he came back, I said, the Lord shall grant it. He said, for, Daddy, forget it. That, in fact, that the way it will happen, as long as it has proceeded out of your... When she got to embassy, she didn't answer anything. They gave her a visa. No, so. All of you know her now. She's a worker in this particular branch. And she's now in America. No, so. Her faith, yesterday I was speaking with her. She was telling me one or two challenges. I said, don't worry, the Lord will grant it. Now nah, the girl got crazy on WhatsApp when we were chatting. Daddy, as long as it has proceeded out of her mouth, let me prepare for my thanksgiving. You see, crazy faith. Somebody watched her testimony, one of her testimony from America, the person got crazy. He said, ha, now you have never seen this kind of testimony. So let me tell you, it takes faith. You must have to believe. What, what are you doubting for Christ? When you believe, there is a miracle position for you. Don't doubt how could it be me? Can it be me? Will it be me? Where? How? Small boy, little girl, Kai. Why are you doubting? Kai. He shall reign forever. He shall reign forever. He shall reign forever. I said, Jehovah shall reign he shall reign forevermore. Did I hear the testimony of Mama? Now, if you hear her testimony, you will understand that the key of that miracle was believe. She is not a member of the church. She only became a member of the church because she had stroke. She doesn't stand up and walk, correct? Is that her testimony? She doesn't even talk well, but now she's managing to talk well. She was in her sitting place. We are waiting for somebody to help her. He said, we was here on a prayer vigil. Praise. Eh? praise. When I was singing a praise, he said, he had that praise and the praise moved her heart. And she said to God in her heart that she wants to dance that praise. That 
that I want to dance the praise. He says she believed in her heart. And it looks as if a breeze blew in her leg. Her leg became free. She stood up and that's how she started walking. She ran and came here and said, Today, here is my church. You are not going to any other place. Amen. Amen. What is the key? Because she believes. Continue, sir. So, you need to open your heart and believe today. And all these blessings shall come on thee. All these blessings shall come to you, but you must do what? Believe. Believe. Let me hear you. And overtake thee. And overtake you. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord if thy God. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord and believe. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be here in Lagos, in the city where you dwell at. And blessed shall thou be in the field. Thou blessed shall thou be in the field of the works of your hands. Amen. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Blessed shall be the fruit that proceeded out of your body. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the increase of thy king. Increase of thy king. And the fruit of thy sheep. And everything thou ownest in earth. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Everything you do in your business ground, blessed shall thou be. God. Amen. Blessed shall thou shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. From Monday to Sunday, mm. when you're going out, when you're coming oh, in, yes. you are not just a blessing, but you shall receive a blessing. Amen. Let a believer jump up and shout this amen with a confirmation. Amen. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee to be smitten uh -huh. before thy face. When the Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise against you, which means it shall end in glory because you shall overcome thy enemies. The pits they have dig against you, they shall fall into it. You know why? Because the Lord have just said so. Amen. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before these seven ways. That means, take notes. Being a child of God does not mean that the enemy will not look after you. Take note. Even you as a child of God should be prepared because it is a certain that the enemy will... It is only those who have this great glory that the enemy looks and comes after. I don't know if I'm saying something. Hello. I said, I don't know if I'm saying something. Let me say something to you. That's the way miracle works. You have to believe. You have to do what? Um, there's uh, sister, remind me your name. You, you. Yes. No, not you, not you. You now. Yes. Uh, not, not sister Grace. Huh? Miracle. Uh, sister Miracle. I was speaking with your husband. A husband stays abroad. How long have you been in this church? Seven Sundays. Okay, today completes seven Sundays. That means almost two months. Last two months when I was speaking with your husband, the first time he called me, the young man was nearly crying on phone. Mm. Did he tell you that? He didn't tell you. But he complained his... His... Uh, his position of life at that time, that things were not working, right? Eh? He told you that. That time, that last two months when I talked with that young man, he can confirm to me that even to raise 10,000 becomes a problem. But I asked him, can you believe? He said, no. He said, the kind of thing we are watching about you. You know, this our channel has gone so viral that people have so much confidence that God is truly speaking through us. You know, it's not all about one on one prophecy. It's the convention. It's all, all those nation prophecies that we gave about Atiku, about Bulgari winning the election, about Malawi, Syria alone, Liberia, Ghana, all of them that we gave that came to pass. And you know, we do give months, years ahead of time. So, that thing makes people to believe that these people are very genuine prophets. And all of them do, did what? Came to pass the one we gave in River State. And all the prophecies we've given. Omar Gege, the Deputy Senate President and all that. Now, 
He told me that he has this confidence. Both of you who sent yourself to this church, is it you or him? You. Okay, you are the one that located us. And, oh, okay. So, now something happened. We took up that prayer and I gave a prophecy and I gave an assignment. And that spiritual assignment I gave will complete today, correct? Eh? And yesterday when he called me, he told me things he has shipped in, some machines he has brought. But is that correct? <laughs> he told me things that have started coming. And I said, okay, so it lasted only a month. And that means between a year, the Lord will make you bigger than expected. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. What am I sharing these testimonies for? Is because the key to your miracle is for you to do what? Believe. We are in the month of new beginning. What only I want here, just do what? Believe. As a woman I prophesied to here one day that was pregnant and I said that I saw you carrying twins. I don't know if you remember. She delivered twins. I've told you that before. Now, there was a time she lost her heart. And why did she lose her mind and her heart was because she gave a birth and when the child is about to grow, the child did what? Died, Abby. You know that story. And when she came, she kept crying. I said, the Lord said, you wipe away your tears. And the only best way for God to wipe away her tears was to double it and replace the lost one and bring a new one. The Lord gave her twins. There's something the Lord, the Lord is showing me. You know, we said we prayed at the beginning of the year that there is nobody again in this ministry that shall die premature or the child will die premature during childbirth. But there's something I'm seeing that are negative now as we were singing. But can I prophesy to you first? On the day of your birth, your baby will not die. I didn't hear you, sister. Your baby will not die. There's something the Lord is showing me. Last, last month I was I was ministering here. After service. After service. You you came to me, right? Then and I jokingly said I jokingly said uh, this is twins. But have you confirmed it? Yes, sir. Is it twins? Yes, sir. I'm today. I'm here with my twins. Hallelujah. So Emanuela and Emmanuel. Emmanuel and Emmanuel. Now, why am I telling you this? Today, we are not doing teaching question and answer. We are here to pray. I just want you to believe. What will happen from now? I just want your faith to be at the radical area. Radical area of believing. A woman with issue of blood for how many years? 12 years, right? The faith was so radical that she believed, if I could touch, see faith, believe, if I could. And immediately she only, she, let me tell you, the Bible made us understand in that scripture that there were many people that was following you who? Jesus. So she even struggled to stretch her hand to her. That means she was not the only person that was touching the garment. But she was the only person at that time that was proving that the miracle of healing came to pass. Because in her heart, before she did the touching, she has already believed. So your miracle will come in this month. But you must believe. I believe. Yes, I believe. I believe, yes, I believe, I believe that Jesus is my Savior. I say, I believe, yes, I believe, oh, yes, I believe, oh, yeah, I believe. I told you something now. I said that this ministry is nine years old today. As interdenominational, it lasted years. 
It's about three, four years as a church. But as a ministry, the Lord established it. And let me tell you, I did everything I could do as a young man. Hello? I did everything I could do as a young man. There was nothing coming for. I went to mountain. I went to pray. Anywhere I go, I went to school to study medicine, surgery. I became a school dropper. There was nothing good coming out of me. Anywhere I go, they said I should carry a Bible. And one of the most things I hate is to answer a pastor. I want to be a businessman and my girlfriend was by my side sitting every day. Where would they go? I proudly. I do fine boy, I will fry my hair. Not only earring, none of the wear. My expectation was to be a successful businessman. Be an evangelist by going to sing and all that. But because my mother gave my birth on a Sunday like this, praise and worship was going on quarter to twelve on a Sunday. Her stomach started paining her. She sat on the ground, you know, before people realized, people were dancing, realized they noticed that the pregnant woman was bleeding. When they opened the wrapper, they saw she had already delivered a bouncing baby boy. I was taken to the altar immediately. I was born and dedicated immediately. They took me, took her outside and caught the, what do you call it? You know, there's something I've noticed. You know that time, a lot of things are happening. They didn't, I didn't, I, I, I didn't go through a hospital. But now, ha, ha, you know, I don't know if it is this technology of you need to follow a due process. I didn't come without a, uh, uh, with, through the normal due. I broke the protocol of childbirth. They took me out and washed me and returned me back to the altar. You know, I was supposed to be dedicated after three months. But I was, a woman stood up, a prophetess, and she said, the Lord told me his name is Emmanuel, God with us. That's my first name. I want to share testimony of belief here. The second name, Chinon, so came by a girl of two years who was born, but she doesn't, she doesn't talk that clearly. She came with her mother to see a newborn baby. According to my mother's story, at the entrance of the door, she got there and refused to enter. Her mother left her at the door and went and sat on the bed. And she opened her mouth for the first time in Igbo language and said, As a boy, a chin on so. They said he should be called chin on so, which is God is near. And the prophetess in the church who spoke that they said his name shall be called Emmanuel. God is with him. Now, everything I've done, I've been in moving industry. There's nothing I do that does not succeed, but it does not give me money. I was in position, but I was so poor. In the one room where I live, the major thing that was living with me was cockroach because my TV inside, and I cockroach, you know they work self. I don't know if, I'm not sure if I don't buy bed at that time. I, mean, I don't buy, I don't forget. Uh, I can't do my belly anyway. I can't do my belly anyway. I can't do my belly anyway. That boy and my guess are so. You hear me? Only, only. Now, after the whole thing, I've done everything I could. Nothing. Nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. I have this kind of dangerous calling of. Some of the old prophets in the Bible that they are these kind of people that can be crazy and nothing happens to them. That's the kind of crazy grace I have. Then till the manifestation of that grace started flowing, God started positioning me. Look at the level of growth. In every somebody, I was sharing a testimony the time I defended this man that bought a jet. So I was sharing things I've done. People have supported free education. The things I've done. And somebody now said, this one that is claiming, is he not the church offering that made him this comfortable? My brother can tell you that even the church offering here cannot even pay even ordinary media department, not to talk of music department, or even to pay, I don't know what to say. Because after paying those things, pay. Give allowance ministers, at least they should buy fuel every Sunday. Do one or two things. Even our free education, when you calculate all our expenses, the question is, where is the money coming from? 
But I discovered that my life became a blessing so much that I became richer than the church. Since that time, between that nine years past now, so many of you that knows me could share testimony of what I have become. I have become friends with those that matter politically, physically, private sector, spiritually. The Lord has blessed me that all of them wants me to be part of their life. You know why? Because immediately I took the Bible, I now believe that the only way for me, why I was sent, was to do it. And immediately I believe everything started working for me. I will go to prophets. I will write the countries I want to go put in the pocket. They will tell me the countries you want to go. I will say yes, no one will walk. Till one day a prophet said, a prophet that people fear so much. I won't mention his name. He said to me, Sir, I said, yes, sir. He said, eh, until the day you carry the Bible, you will not go anywhere. But immediately you carry the Bible, they will be looking for you every part of the world. Sir, take note, your grace is bigger than mine. And from the day I carried the Bible, within a year, and they started begging me to travel. I started traveling. That's how I started coming in, in the United States. Somebody in the U.S. called me the other day. He said, he said, Daddy, I've been in the U.S. for 40 years, but you know U.S. more than me. Because when you are there, you know, you are working in a particular state, so you don't have this liberty of traveling so much. It's just like in Nigeria, there are some of us here that have not been opportune to go to ordinary Abuja. No, be so. I'm not saying the whole state. Three major states in Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt. And three major cities. There are people who have not been opportune to go to that three major cities. Since they grew up, they have been in only, in only one state. So the man was telling me that the same thing. And he said, look at you. The other day, you have gone to Oklahoma. You've gone to Atlanta. You've gone to Texas. You've gone to Te Houston, Texas. You've gone to Dallas. You've uh, gone to Los Angeles, California. You've gone to Washington, Maryland. You started Philadelphia. He said, you have traveled all those places. And I'm still in one place. Then I discover when you believe, and follow the right path that the Lord of destiny you. Sky is not your beginning point. Sky is just a little starting point. But you will arrive at the beginning that shall promote you to where you're going. If you're a believer here, you can say something here. So all of us have a story to tell. But what I want to tell you is that I've discovered that every story that brings success, you must believe and follow the path of the line of that story. When you're going, look at what happened to Peter. When he was coming to Jesus, immediately he lost that focus of belief. He started doing what? Sinking. So, at the time run as you're going, do not lose focus. Continue that scripture and finish it so that we round up. Verse 8 and the last. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. Now listen. The promise of God does not fail. Then he said the Lord will command his what? Blessings. Upon your what? Us. Upon the, what? In our storehouses. Now, do you believe that the promise of God in your life will come to pass? Oh, yes. No, 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 you don't believe me. Kai, I say you don't believe me. I said, do you believe that the blessings of God that he said I shall command it upon your life will come to your life? Oh, yes. If you believe, shout, I believe. I believe. All right. Are you done? And all that thou settest thy hand unto. Now, hear this. In this month of August, anything where you go do, anything where you go put your hands upon, what shall happen? And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Now listen. That means in the land of Lagos, I don't know where you live, but any land where you live, that whatsoever you shall put your hand in this month of August, the Lord shall make you to do what? Prosper. Kai, I don't know who believed this. I said, I don't know who believed this. You can say it confidently. That this month is well. It is well 
Here is well. Oh, here is well in the name of Jesus. Here is well with my soul today. In the name of Jesus. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. To lift up your hands. It takes a result to cancel an insult. God. In a few minutes now, I'm returning for promotion for this month. And I will tell you if you can get connected in this month's prayer, today being the first Sunday of August. That means something new is about to happen in your life. 